All right, so Kristen, you are a librarian, and you're telling me is that you use Google Classroom where they have the link in the banner of Google Classroom, so students join your class, they click on the link, and they join. So what was the challenge that you were having? The challenge was that when a teacher joins before me, they become the host, and then I couldn't let any outside people in. And also another challenge was there were students joining for the next class before the prior class ended, and then the attendance collided, so I couldn't have separate attendance sheets emailed to me. So I need to separate each of the classes every time, even if it's only five minutes apart. And so the problem that I have is that if I've had anybody invited to it or they came in and they left when I do the breakout rooms, it remembers them from the previous session and it messes up my whole breakout rooms assigning also. So you have a unique situation because you're using the same one Google Classroom for multiple classes. I'm not the librarian, but I actually use the same Google Classroom for all of my classes as well because I like having one place to update which means then we all have the same meet link. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So let me do a window. And so you can see my Google Classroom here. And I'm gonna go up to the settings cog in the upper right and scroll down. And what you're gonna see is that under meet, I've generated a meet link. And what I want is where it says visible to students. I want this to be off all the time. All of the time it is off, and the only reason I would toggle it on to be visible to students is because I'm going to meet with them. So if I'm not meeting, it should be off. So they don't think like, oh, I should be in this meeting, and they have no reason to like click it, try to join, request to join, just sit in a, um, a waiting room or anything. I'm gonna leave it off. Okay, now when I go to the Google Classroom, I'm on the stream, you can see that it shows the meet link to me because I'm the teacher, but you'll notice that the eyeball shows it crossed off. It's not visible to students, so they can't see it. So let's say you're doing a meet at 10 and you're doing a meet at 11. Now what you were doing specifically was virtual field trips where some people from a national park or museum or something, uh, you had a special guest speaker that was coming in to talk to one group of kids, and then they were going to talk to the next group of kids, right? So for your Google Meet that's at 10, there's some window that you start to let them in. So let's say that that's 9.50, you give them 10 minutes to start showing up. That doesn't mean that I'm in the meeting. It just means that 10 minutes before the meeting, I go to the settings cog that's right up here in the upper right. I go to the cog in the upper right of my classroom, and I scroll down, and where it says visible to students, I toggle it on. So now I'm going to click Save. So now they're going to be able to see this link in the header. Right? They can join the waiting room, they can be in there, and then I'm going to click the settings cog and just kind of leave this, just leave it there. So you'll notice that we're in a meet right now. This is in a different window. I just have the Google Classroom in a different tab so that I can easily just jump right over to the settings. Now, it's 1020. Anyone who shows up at 1020 is grossly late. They're, pretty, they're absent. Right? I'm not letting them in anymore. So I'm going to leave this open so that I'm ready to do this. I'm going to go where it says visible to students. I'm going to toggle that off. And then under the link, every time, I'm going to reset. I'm going to do it right now. When I toggle it off, I reset because I don't want to remember later. If I toggle it off, I go to the little arrow and I choose reset so that when I'm going to save. So now what happens, you'll see it has the eyeball here, the 10 o'clock class, or excuse me, the 11 o'clock class, right? The 11 o'clock class, they go to the Google Classroom, they don't see a link to join. There's no link to join. I'm still in the meet with the 10 o'clock class. The, the park ranger is talking to the kids, doing the whole thing. I don't want 11 o'clock kids coming in on that. We're still doing this. They're two totally separate meets, which by the way, you can have two meets at the same time, just so you know. I mean, your voice conflicts and whatnot, but you can you can open it. So then at 10.50, so it's 10 minutes before the next class, you just go to the cog. You have it right here. You turn it on visible to students. You already reset it, remember? Okay, so now it's on. 
at the end of the 10 o'clock class, I do end meeting for all. That's a new feature that's rolling out. If you don't have it yet, it is coming. I end meeting for all. I close out of the meeting. That way I get the attendance just for the 10 o'clock class. That way my breakout rooms are just for the 10 o'clock class. Okay, so now that I've closed that down, I go back over to Google Classroom and I, it's already visible to students. The link's already there. I'm gonna, they should not be able to join without me. So, and I click on that link. It opens there. I've got a brand new Meet. All the settings are brand new. I know they just came up with a feature that the settings are sticky if you use the same meeting. That's great, except the challenges that we said is trying to get some of the, yeah. So if you're having challenges with that, then you won't have the sticky settings. Okay, right? So then it is uh, 9.50, no, 10.50, it's 10.50, and I've students are hanging out in their waiting room. I end the 10 o'clock class, I join the new meeting, and I let the 11 o'clock kids in. It's 11.20. It's 11.20. So I'm going to toggle off the visible to students, and at the moment, at the moment that I do... Um, not visible to students is when I choose reset. I'm going to reset it right now. I turn it off and I reset it every time. Save. So now it's ready to go when I'm going to do my next meeting. My next meeting's coming up in 10 minutes or whatever time you start letting them in. You go to the cog of the class and you turn on visible to students and you know that that is a new room because you are really consistent that if you toggle it off, you reset it. All right. Okay, so that's one way that you can manage using Google Meet link in Google Classroom.